In this next step, we're going to work on creating our blog, and we're going to start by importing some users, and we'll move on to importing the blog content itself. Now, good job making it this far. We've covered a lot of material, and from here on out, we're going to integrate some of the stuff that we've learned about views and panels, and add in some new material as well. So for our blog, we have a few things that we need to build out on the individual blog pages, we have several blocks on the side. Each of these we're going to build with views. The first is about the author, which includes the name of the author, an image for the author, a short bio, and a link that says learn more about, and then the name of the author at their website. The next block we're going to build is also about this author, which displays links to other blog entries that have been written by this same writer. I'm going to scroll down here. We have a recent blog posts block, and this displays links of the five most recent blog entries on the site. And then finally, we have our tags block, which shows a list of tags that are associated with blog entries, along with the number of entries that have this tag added to it. So each one of these are pretty practical. You'll probably end up having to build a view that builds each of these at some point. And based on what you've built already, these should actually be relatively trivial, with a couple of exceptions where we're going to introduce some new ideas about rewriting content and also creating a relationship based on an existing relationship. So that's a view with two relationships, which allows us access to additional fields. So this is what we're going to focus on at this point. And then we'll come back to addressing the comments area of a blog post. And I'm going to switch over to our blog homepage the slideshow that's going to appear above the page on our main blog page, as well as the listing of blog entries on that page.